Jenna Marbles. It's time to look into your soul. We are going to be doing a psychic tarot reading on our favorite, 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 favorite YouTube. What do you even call Jenna? 32 year old lady. Ha! <laughs> we love Jenna. Uh, definitely a big Jenna Marbles fan. Um, trying to figure out what's going on with her. You know, there have been a few things there's been a few rumors going around and uh we're just gonna kind of see what's going on with her uh you know in her life you know what's we're just gonna look we're just gonna see you know the streets are talking and we want to know what they talking about so let's just see <clears throat> Ooh. huh oh wow so she's going to be approached. She's going to be approached with a giant uh, deal. Um, it's a giant deal. I don't know what exactly it's going to be. So, okay, so let me break this down for you. So the Four of Pentacles is a greedy, selfish card, right? So it's a deal that's, that's basically going to be handing her free money. And the Page of Pentacles is reversed, which means she's not going to take it because we know that she's not really interested in money. Um, and the Two of Wands is upright, which means that it's going to be, a, it's going to cause a little bit of friction between, I don't know if it's her and her manager or her, her and Julian, because I think they're really going to, I think there's going to be a small contemplation period and they're going to kind of have to, really weigh the pros and cons because I'm, I'm going to be honest with you the four of pentacles is upright so there has to be a really large sum of money involved here and the high priest is averse which means it's not a trustworthy deal it's not worth it not for her and she's just flat out not going to do it so there is going to be friction between her and someone else i can't tell who it's going to be um i'd assume it'd be someone who is in charge of her finances or helps her with finances though um the two of cups upright with the four of wands this one actually concerns me um because the four of wands is always environment and always house and the two of cups is upright which would be like relationship um and i see a problem with their house <laughs> um i don't know if i i mean i'm not i, I don't think it's going to be a full-blown move move but there's a problem with the house uh the queen of cups averse with the queen of swords and lovers card here uh so <sighs> Oh my god. So this is something that should have been a problem when they first moved in. And it's one of those things where they're like, oh, I can easily fix this. However, absolutely not. It is going to cause a really big problem. I can't exactly pinpoint what part of the house this is or what area in the house this is. Um, but it's going to cause a lot of stress and... It's only going to get worse. The Nine of Wands up by the Nine of Cups, which means like, no matter who they ask to work on this or fix this or or you know, it's like going to be an ongoing thing, an ongoing problem uh, with the house. It's like a direct thing. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if the animals end up finding it. Like it might be like you know, you know, how sometimes there's like a leak or whatever. They might end up inadvertently finding it through the animals, or the animals might have destroyed it. I can't tell. Because the lover's card in this deck has the cats on it. So it's, I, I've seen this manifest with the animals. So I'm wondering if maybe one of them will destroy something and it'll kind of cause an ongoing problem or if they'll find it. Uh, maybe someone will dig something under. I don't know. I can't really figure out where the problem is in the house. I just know that it is going to be a big house. It is a big problem with the house and it is going to affect the animals. Uh, uh, but it should have already existed. It should have been there for a long time. It has to be something that was there when they bought the house. Has to be. <clears throat> oh yeah um this is this is actually like bigger than bigger than we even realize this this is a dramatic catastrophic event right so the tower is always a big deal okay it's always a foundational issue whenever i pull a tower it's a foundational issue and the king of swords is reversed with the justice card which means whoever was the realtor whoever sold us to them knew of this problem the justice whoever was in charge must have known this because the justice card is a legal issue foundational issue and legal issue so like i don't know how that girl moving on we're just gonna leave it right there we're gonna leave it right there girl all right she feels stifled in her career so um she's kind of it's not that she doesn't like her career she definitely enjoys her career but she feels a little bit stuck 
Um, this would be career, it's reverse, the chariot, feeling stuck when it's reversed and center sword. So if she knows she's got it good, she knows things are good, but she's feeling a little bit creatively stuck. Um, and she has a really big decision to make. The two of swords upright with the ten of swords, which means that she wants to branch out into something new, but she's absolutely terrified that it'll feel like a betrayal to her audience. This is a very new, uh, creative endeavor. I don't know what the hell this is, but she is extremely scared to make this leap. Um, I think it's because it, whatever this is is going to take away time from the, like the, the limelight. Stars reverse, so it has to be something that takes away time from like being like. And I wonder what this is because it's it's a it's a passion that we're not really that that privy to. It's a passion that hasn't been shared that much. The star is a verse, which means that it has to be outside of like the camera. And the three of swords is a verse, which means that it's something that she's thought about before, but didn't have the means to jump into. And so she kept it on the back burner. Yeah, it's a creative endeavor. The page of swords is something she does that really he heals her soul. Um, Four of Swords is about healing soul. Uh, the Page of Wands is the creative endeavor, the creative outlet. Um, and even it even could potentially make her uh, bring a voice to something that normally doesn't have a voice. This is like a cause. Um, and the Hermit's Reverse, which means it, it'll bring her out of the house, bring her out of her comfort zone. Uh, completely kind of like something very different. <clears throat> Interesting. Hmm. <sighs> Um, so in her relationship, she's overthinking it. Uh, she definitely is overthinking, overanalyzing her relationship. The moon's upright with the Ace of Cups. So we know that they're madly in love. That's not a shocker. Uh, but the moon's upright with the Knight of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles, which means that um, she doesn't want to overcomplicate the entire relationship. But what's happening is she's overthinking it. And I, I'm, I'm a little bit concerned about them taking a, like, a little bit too much of an easy route. I know they've mentioned a few things about like marriage and stuff like that, but the Knight of Swords is up by with the Ace of Pentacles. Uh, so the Knight of Swords is like a knight in shining armor, and the Ace of Pentacles is like uh, gro uh, growth, uh, money, and goals. And so like I don't see a reason why they shouldn't be doing the things that they, they want to do, like getting married or having babies or whatever the case may be. But the moon is upright, which is secrets. So the Page of Swords would be about, uh, you know, opportunities uh, that are worth fighting for. The Eight of Swords is like feeling pressured or trapped. And then the Five of Cups is upright, which is emotional disappointment. So like, I, I mean, I don't want to be, you know, too, whatever, it's whatever, it's a psychic reading. I see her having trust issues, okay? I get that. I understand that she has trust issues. It makes sense to me. But I don't know why she's so hesitant with Julian because the knight of swords is upright so like i don't he's like a really good good guy for her like like handcrafted for her and i don't think she's going to get better than she currently has not that i think that he's the best guy in the world but currently in her current space and where she is in life he is her best option so i'm wondering why i'm pulling the moon what are they hiding from us the world's upright what are they hiding from us I'm trying to figure out what she's hiding from us. She's hiding something from us. Mm -mm. Okay. All right. Well, there it is. Okay. Interesting. I mean, a lot of you guys know what these cards are. The Ten of Cups is family. The Six of Cups is the past, also children. And the Ace of Wands is a pregnancy card. So I'm confused as to why there's a moon next to the kids. And the sun's reversed as well, which is a bit of unhappiness. I wonder if she's, has she, does anyone know if she's struggled with fertility before? Or if she's just scared? Why am I pulling children? Because this would be about, like, a risk that doesn't pay off. The Knight of Cups is about growth, and the Eight of Wands is slowing things down. I wonder if she's had trouble with fertility. Sometimes this could be miscarriages. Sometimes it could be struggle with fertility. And other times it's just, I'm pregnant and I don't want anyone to know. 
Um, but there has to be some level of disconnect between her, the idea of kids, and Julian. And I don't think it's just a timeline. I can't quite figure it out. Because the Temperance card is impatience and imbalance. The Five of Swords is issues. They're, they're little details. And the Three of Cups is problems with trust. So it's like, I don't want anyone to know. That's gossip. So I don't want anyone to know. Yeah, look, I pulled mom. Empress is mom. And the Three of Pentacles would be job. She wants that part of her life away from the camera. But why am I pulling mom energy? I pulled all the kids ca kid cards. I pulled all the mom energy and all the pregnancy cards. So something is going on. Something's going on. Girl, are you pregnant? She... I swear to God, if she's pregnant, something's going on. I don't know what this is. I can't quite pinpoint it exactly. Why do I see like regrets, missed opportunities, and the judgment card here, which is about people's opinions? Ego problems, the fool spontaneity, that's another and the hangman being forced to let go of something. Hmm. Let's see if we can pull an oracle and figure out what this is. But why am I pulling all of the pregnancy cards? I pulled every pregnancy card. <laughs> parasites. Some of y'all be calling kids parasites because it's in your stomach. Um, well, I mean, the black flower fragrance is about being worried about uh, uh, negativity and bringing negativity to something that doesn't deserve it. So she's definitely afraid of the power that uh, the internet has to destroy things or to ruin things. The parasite card here is something that's been eating and eating up inside of her for a while. She's been holding something in for a while. And the bride in a cage card is all about feeling like she has to go through the motions. I think that the two of them have had some sort of really intense experience that has terrified her. And that's why she's like, I don't want to get married. I don't want to do this or all that stuff. Um, but on top of that, there's some relation to children. This would be a shit storm. That's about her wondering where her place is. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what this is. This has to be some sort of... So be something to do with children. It's either... I mean, the, the options are pinpointed towards something related to children that's happened to them in the past and then something that's happening now. There's a direct mirror between like their their life in the past and their life now you know i know remember when they went through that car accident i know that that changed her life dramatically but i don't know it's very similar to that where it's like a huge life event and i keep pulling all of these like i, I pulled every every mom card every pregnancy card every fertility card i don't know we'll have to see how this manifests i what if I don't know. I mean, I don't want to cause speculation, right? But at the end of the day, it's kind of part of my job here. Um, but I wouldn't be surprised if she gets pregnant soon, to be honest with you. I wouldn't be surprised. Or if she comes forward with some fertility story or like a, like maybe a miscarriage in the past, there has to be something you guys, there has to be something related to children. Has to be. What if they adopted a baby? Has she ever talked about that? I don't recall. I don't know, you guys. Something, something is up. And listen to me. There, it's limited what I can get here because it's supposed to be a secret for a reason. And it's very clear that the universe is protecting the secret so i can only give you the breadcrumbs that i got that's it but um girl are you pregnant <laughs> what is going on girl give me the tea jenna baby what's going on give me the tea what's going on about kids i need to know what's going on because 
something's going on and there's they're they're hiding something that they're supposed to hide but they're hiding something so i don't know i'm gonna respect their wishes i'm gonna respect the energy but that's what i see uh, so if you guys really like this reading, uh, make sure you guys follow me uh, and subscribe to me. Um, it, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, Amphrodite. Uh, go to Amphrodite.com for your own personal private readings. Uh, write down in the comments below uh, what you thought. Um, and if you'd like me to do a reading for someone else, uh, let me know who uh, and what. Uh, and yeah, hopefully you guys can maybe figure out what the hell is going on? Because <laughs> I'm like shook it. I'm shook. After this reading, I'm shook. Jenna, baby, I hope you see this because girl, what the hell? <laughs> Have a great day, guys.